What's up, everybody? Gridbot Guru here. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what I am seeing with ETH. Okay. Again, this is through Pinex. If you are not part of Pinex and not part of the Pinex family, what are you waiting for? Okay. Click the link below, click the link in the video, and let's go ahead and get you started on a trading bot. Okay. Now, the other day I had somebody who ended up sending me a message and they said, Hey, what do you think about ETH? And so I've been watching it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what I think and kind of a, 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 a next kind of a next thought, next idea. My gut is that we are kind of looking a little bearish on this okay so what you're seeing kind of right here is you're seeing some lower highs okay you're seeing some lower highs you're also starting to see some lower lows so that that is not something that i am particularly excited about however i do know that it is also part of the cycle so what I'm seeing is I'm seeing us starting to end up going down. We're going to start looking at this. This and then again, this is on the daily. I want to make sure everybody understands. I am working with the daily chart here. I think that what we have is we have two very different uh, scenarios. So at this point, if we are coming up here, and we break up out of this, I think this top line, this top line to the channel could be considered a new support. Okay. However, I also right now see it as a very large resistance area. Since we are, we have come up here, we've come back down. We hit this kind of area, came back down. We whipped way down and came back up. We also hit here came back down. So I do see us kind of starting this lower trend going down. But good news is looking at the MACD, I also have noticed that in this area, oops, let me try to get zoomed in for you guys. In this area, okay, I'm gonna put a circle around it. To me, and this is something that I have always been taught. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I can't get that circle now. There we go, right there. In this area, and this could also can include to be a little bit more in this range as well. I've always been told that before there is an actual reversal, so an actual trend reversal, there will usually be a period that has accumulation. So what you will see is you will see that there's a period of very, very choppiness and I think, I kind of feel like that's where we are at right now. I don't know if we will end up seeing um, 36 or 34 anytime soon. Is it a possibility? Absolutely. It's in the channel. But I do feel like this area, we are probably going to stick around for several days, if not maybe a couple of weeks. Let's see what the weekly looks like. The weekly looks like we may come down quite a bit. Um, but at the same time, the weekly looks like we have a higher high right here. We'll have to watch to see where the low is on the weekly scale. I don't usually trade weekly, but it's always a good idea to keep that in mind. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm hoping that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing with ETH. Um, those of you who were asking about it, keep them coming. If you guys have a specific coin, send me a message. Um, I know I got about three of them I'm looking up. One of them, I think, is a Basic Attention Token. Um, I'll check that one out. That one's been going wild. And another one is, uh, what was the other one? Let me try to find where I, I've written it down somewhere. Uh, um, oh, the other one was um, um, 
FTT, I believe it was. So um, somebody ended up mentioning that. So I'm going to look those up and I hope to get back to you guys soon. Okay. As always, uh, do your own research on these. I'm hoping that you guys are going to end up again, have a great week trading and I want you guys to all stay green.